Hey, my name is Bruce Gilson, and I want to welcome you to another episode of our Knowledge Basics. Today, we're talking coax. All right, so if you've been watching our other SDI videos, you know that we have already talked about a bunch of different connection types and how to label your cable properly and make a cable, but I mentioned that there's a thing called double bubble and it's specific to Belden. And I didn't introduce those tools, but I have them right here. This is really specific to Belden connectors. Uh, we use a ton of Belden in the field. And so I wanted to just do this separately so I'm not confusing anybody. The wire stripper is extremely similar. So we've introduced this guy already, but this, the, here's the Belden specific one. It's similar and I'll tell you how it's different in just a moment. But before I get into the differences, let me just teach you how to terminate a double bubble. And then, um, and then we have a different cable type and that's where the connector is gonna come in differently. So in the same way uh, as our other guy, we're gonna, we're gonna seat our SDI in here. We're gonna push it all the way to the end. Belden has all the uh, razor blades properly laid out so that we know that this is gonna have the right cuts on the whole thing. I'm gonna kind of squeeze it down, just to make sure everything's biting. Then I'm gonna do this rocking back and forth motion that we've been talking about. That doesn't change. And I'm gonna pull this off and I had a little bit of an error, but that's all right. We can, what that means is that we didn't quite make that tight enough. And so I'm gonna do that one more time back and forth and then boom. All right, so once again, this should look just like all the other connectors. We're gonna pull this braid back in the same way, Mr. Frizzy that we talked about with all these braided conductors uh, going out. And then on our double bubble, uh, you know, SDI connectors, the pin, the node, for the center conductor, it's all the way at the back here. So I'm gonna line that up and I'm gonna push that. I'm gonna do this one more time just so we can see exactly what we're doing here. I'm gonna line that up, uh, line that up, and then I'm gonna push this and I can start feeling it all kind of coming together. And you see how that braid just disappeared? It just went and it's gone now. And the, the uh, center post is pushed all the way to the end. That's how I know that I pushed it into the right amount. Now, the, the Belden double connector, it, it's technically a compression connection, just like we talked about, but it's got these things that kind of slide open, okay? So I'm gonna pull that open and I'm gonna push my cable into it and then they, they have a spring, they're spring loaded and they pop closed. And then I'm gonna line up my head just like this. Let me see if I can make sure that we can capture that. So now the um, this neck portion is pinched inside here. And as I make this compression, okay, I'm gonna pull that out. And then I'm gonna open these guys back up. You can see that that neck has been compressed and uh, that connector is not going anywhere. It's that's basically never coming off. I'd have to cut it off. So that's the double bubble difference is you can see this has got a bubble in it. And then after you compress it, it's that bubble is squeezed down into, you know, goes from concave to con convex to concave, and then that tightens it down. So that's how you do double bubble, but we have more. We also talked about mini uh, RG59, and this is another cable type that we use often in the field. So over here, we've got our mini RG59 uh, connector, and uh, Belden does a cool thing. So as you can see here, we've talked about kind of how to read your cable type, and this is uh, 4855R. Well, guess what? My connector actually says 4855R. This, because it's the same cable with the same manufacturer and they are making sure that I know I've got the right connector for the right cable. Okay, now this is where this tool gets different. The Belden specific one, this one has this little bitty channel and the little channel is specific to RG59 Mini, okay? Uh, I do have to have Belden's wire stripper for 
the mini cable. So make sure it bites and you're gonna kind of squeeze down and get those, um, the razor blades in, uh, engaged and then you're gonna rock it back and forth and you can kind of feel it grinding and it's kind of cutting everything until you're happy with you know how it feels, it starts feeling smooth. And then when you pull that out, this is what it should look like. You have the, the center conductor and then you have this braided conductor. We're doing this all the same way. So Mr. Frizzy comes out, we got all of our frizzes going, which is our braided conductor. We're we're using um, the mini uh, RG59 connectors, and this is kind of cool. This is a Belden connector and a Belden cable, and so Belden puts here 4855R is the cable type, and that actually matches my connector type, 4855R. So I know I've got the right connector with the right cable. Once again, there's this little uh, center post that I'm gonna slide into. I'm gonna just slide that up and as I do that, the cool thing with the way that Belden does it, this is a mini cable, so it's a little bit more challenging because you don't have the rigidity of the cable, but the post comes all the way to the end, all the braids disappear. Then I'm using my double bubble connector, this, is this part that kind of opens up, I'm opening up, I'm sliding this, I'm gonna line up the uh, head with a presser, and then when I push that in, I get this real nice kind of clicky thing. And that's how I know that this is, uh, this is finished. And so now uh, you can see here, because it's a mini cable, there's a gap between the collar. But inside the gap, if I could show you, inside the gap, there's a plastic compression that's holding that mini cable so it can't go anywhere. That, that's not coming off, okay? So that's what's cool about the double bubbles is that uh, you have this kind of bubble before it's done, now you got a bubble after it's done, and then they've made sure that their compression is gonna hold the cable and the connector together for forever. So there we did it. We did mini RG59. If you see that out in the field, now you know what to do. All right, excellent. All right, so if you feel like you learned something, if you feel like, man, this is uh, this is kind of cool. I, I like being an AV professional, or at least learning how to be an AV professional installer. Make sure you click the, the like button, the subscribe button, the you know, make a comment and tell me that I need to get a better hair color. Anyways, that's not going to change. But thanks for joining us for this episode of Knowledge Basics. <laughs>